Hello, I am Patrick and I am part of Artist's Family. I'm also an independent researcher and I have uh, a doctorate within the ecological humanities, uh, looking broadly, culturally, politically and ecologically and scientifically at our current uh, civilizational moment. I am, um, uh, I guess, a cultural critic. And over the last few years, I've been looking critically at COVID and various COVID narratives and who is uh, behind the messaging and who are who is behind the uh, production uh, streams. And so uh, what I'm currently working on is trying to figure out if uh, the COVID medicines and new medicines coming onto the market uh, are gene therapies. <clears throat> Certainly the National Gene Technology Scheme website on the Australian government says that uh, Moderna and Pfizer are GMOs and that they are examples of gene therapies. So um, this is quite confusing because that's a, a different message to um, other people like Professor Murphy, who I think is a senior scientist uh, advising the Department of Health and Aged Care. So yeah, I've, I've put together a comprehensive research. I, this is a kind of advertisement, this video, for directing you to that. We'll have the links in the link in the description to that very lengthy and well-referenced um, piece and uh, anything you can bring to that I'm open to, very open to hearing uh, critical feedback of my research and also supporting uh, feedback. I feel like it's a really important moment in uh, G GMO development and uh, it doesn't feel like we as a society have had enough um, community conversations about GMOs in our medicine. Um, and it looks like the regulations um, that have been put in place over decades have been undone radically in order to, um, over the last three years. So my findings are quite alarming and I invite you uh, with an open heart to go check it out. Uh, and we will, as I said, we'll uh, put a link in the description. Please subscribe here if you're interested in our videos. We have a w wide range of videos from academic scholarly pieces right through to folk songs that our family sing. And we are permaculture teachers and advocates and neo-peasants. We run the School of Applied Neo-Peasantry, which uh, is all about uh, living a carbon positive and low impact life way as a family in the co context of community. It's specifically looking at or we live, I guess, um, a non-monetary, mostly non-monetary life way and what we do uh, to live with a very small impact on the, on the planet. Okay, over to you in the comments and please check out uh, our new research and yeah, subscribe either here or over at our website. Thank you. See you next time.